Among the most potentially dangerous asteroids ever discovered is Apophis, which is about to make a visit in 2029. It will approach our planet at a distance of just 32,000 kilometers, passing below the orbits of geostationary satellites and shining so brightly that it will be visible to the naked eye to billions of observers around the world. This is a rare event, occurring only once every few thousand years. Welcome to our channel. Today we will talk about the asteroid Apophis, but first, if you haven't already done so, remember to subscribe to the channel. Even more exciting is the fact that a NASA mission is already on its way to study the asteroid up close. However, you might wonder why ground observations alone are not enough to study this asteroid, or why we are sending a spacecraft to investigate a celestial body that was once considered the most dangerous asteroid ever discovered. Apophis, shaped like a peanut shell, was first discovered in 2004 when astronomers spotted it about 170 million kilometers from Earth. Initially designated as 2004 MN4, this 340-meter-wide rock did not seem particularly noteworthy. However, subsequent analyses indicated a 1 in 37 chance of colliding with Earth in 2029, drawing general attention. Such a probability was the highest ever calculated for a significant asteroid impact in recorded history. It was at this point that the asteroid gained the name Apophis, from the Egyptian god of destruction, becoming known as the most dangerous asteroid ever discovered. In March 2021, Apophis made a distant flyby of Earth, allowing astronomers to use radar observations to refine its orbit around the Sun with precision, ruling out any significant impact event on Earth for the next century. However, there is one factor that cannot be ignored, known as the Yarkovsky effect, which stems from the interaction between the asteroid and solar radiation. When sunlight hits a rotating asteroid, the daytime side heats up while the nighttime side cools and releases heat, exerting a small push on the asteroid that can change its direction over time. The Yarkovsky effect is difficult to model, but it can make a big difference in determining where asteroids will end up. Since we don't know exactly how the Yarkovsky effect will disrupt Apophis's orbit, we have limited knowledge of where it will be when it approaches Earth in the coming years. Scientists must therefore consider a range of possible trajectories depending on how strongly the Yarkovsky effect is influencing Apophis. Some of these trajectories coincide with regions of space called gravitational keyholes. If Apophis were to pass through a gravitational keyhole, Earth's gravity could bend its path in the right way to cause an impact on a subsequent orbit. Astronomers have kept an eye on Apophis's trajectory since its discovery. Ground observations and radar measurements indicate that the asteroid is slowly deviating from a purely gravitational orbit. This trend could increase the likelihood of an impact scenario in 2068. In other words, there remains a slight possibility that this massive asteroid could collide with our planet in the next 50 years. The Yarkovsky effect is influenced by changes in the object's temperature due to exposure to solar radiation, the asteroid's composition, and stellar wind, among other factors. This means that we can only reach concrete conclusions if close and multiple observations are made. And this is where NASA's OSIRIS APEX mission comes into play. To fill in the gaps, OSIRIS APEX, the same spacecraft that was launched in 2016 under the name OSIRIS-REx to collect samples from the surface of asteroid Bennu, released a capsule containing fragments of Bennu into our atmosphere on September 24, 2023. After this mission, OSIRIS APEX began a new mission, currently en route for a close encounter with Apophis. Just one hour after Apophis completes its close approach to Earth, on April 13, 2029, OSIRIS APEX will use Earth's gravitational assist to enter orbit around the asteroid and conduct an in-depth study of Apophis for 18 months, collecting valuable data. Unlike Bennu, OSIRIS APEX will not be able to collect a sample from Apophis, but it will approach the surface of the asteroid and use its thrusters to perform a maneuver designed to expose Apophis's subsurface, allowing researchers to obtain information on its physical and chemical composition. For a year and a half, OSIRIS APEX will extensively map the surface of the asteroid, allowing mission scientists to examine any significant changes caused by Apophis's interaction with Earth's gravitational influence. Although tidal forces are relatively small, they can still trigger small landslides and uncover fresh material for study on the asteroid's surface. Additionally, the spacecraft will precisely determine the asteroid's orbital movement to the meter scale, 
allowing researchers to accurately predict Apophis's future trajectory. Currently, forecasts extend only until 2116, but the measurements from OSIRIS APEX should significantly extend this forecasting horizon. That being said, OSIRIS APEX is not the only spacecraft set to visit Apophis. Several missions are targeting the asteroid, including missions with smaller spacecraft like API's PFER, scheduled for launch between 2022-2026. This spacecraft will perform the first close flyby of Apophis, reaching the asteroid about a year after its launch. Additionally, this year, NASA officials presented a proposal at the Planetary Defense Conference to send a swarm of small spacecraft to investigate Apophis. A detailed study of Apophis will pave the way for a better understanding of the various dangerous asteroids that surround us. These missions will represent an extraordinary step forward in improving our knowledge of Apophis's behavior, thus guiding us in the development of effective defense mechanisms against such impacts. The scientific and practical interest in these missions is not just academic. Increasing our understanding of asteroids like Apophis helps us prepare for planetary defense scenarios, potentially saving human lives and critical infrastructure in the event of an impending impact threat. Planetary defense has become a priority research field for space agencies worldwide, underscoring the importance of international collaboration in these efforts. With continuously evolving technology, the long-term approach to managing asteroid threats could include not only reconnaissance missions like those of OSIRIS APEX but also more direct strategies such as altering the orbit of asteroids. These methods might involve physical interaction with the asteroid through kinetic impactors, the use of gravity tractors via spacecraft, or even innovative strategies like painting surfaces of the asteroid to alter the Yarkovsky effect. The lessons learned from Apophis and similar missions will be crucial in guiding the future design of defense systems. Simulating impact scenarios and validating deflection strategies are essential to ensure that proposed techniques are both feasible and effective. Beyond the technological and scientific aspects, there is also significant public and educational interest in these missions. The notion of asteroids passing close to Earth can catalyze interest in space sciences and physics in general, inspiring the next generation of astronomers, engineers, and scientists. Space agencies often use these events to educate the public about the dynamic aspects of our solar system and the complexity of space operations. In conclusion, while the passage of Apophis in 2029 will be a remarkable phenomenon for Earth observers and scientists, it also represents a crucial opportunity to test and strengthen our planetary defense capabilities. The measures we take and the technologies we develop in response to these challenges will not only improve our preparedness for future events but will also contribute to a broader body of knowledge that could one day be vital for the protection of our planet.